hi lovelies welcome back to our channel so if you're new here you're very much welcome please remember to subscribe hit the notification bell and leave a comment today we are going to make this delicious yummy beans porridge ah <laughs> So there's this fish I want to use. This is it. I don't know what it's called. Please, if anyone remembers the name, please let me know in the comment section, okay? Then my beans, I'll be using the black eye beans, three cups. So you can use four cups, five cups, depending on the large, yeah, how many persons that are going to eat it. So I'm just using three cups for this purpose. So just pick them, take out the stones, make sure they are properly clean and washed because you wouldn't want to have a bite of sand when eating your beans. Yeah, I like to bring my water to a boil before adding the beans. For me, I feel it helps the beans cook faster. But if you can still use the cold water, no problem. Then here is the fish I showed you earlier. To enjoy that fish better, you need to de-skin it, you know. Take out the skins, take out the bones. You used to have all these um, tiny bones. Yeah, these ones you can see here. Make sure you take them out so that someone don't get choked while eating. Especially when kids are also going to eat the food. For me, I can even chew the bone <laughs> as I go. <laughs> then I'll be adding pala fish. <laughs> if you want to the name of this fish sounds full funny to me but if you want to know how i i kind of um grill it using my oven you let me know in the comment section so that i'll make that video for you okay you need to be doing all these you know diy stuffs at your house you can use your oven or your stove just let me know so i can pull up that video for you so after um you know cleaning it i have this section of it that is just purely bones these bones i'm not going to let it go but this ones i'll be trashing it okay so i just keep watching to see how things turn around so this is the fish just to give it a warm wash yeah just enjoy that b roll <laughs> that little b roll there <laughs> okay so here is it i like to wash my fish with warm water uh not that very hot anyway the minimum your hand can you know handle yeah just give it a good thorough watch and set it aside then on that bone i showed you earlier i'm still going to properly wash it with hot water uh well not that very hot anyway just the minimum your hand can manage mm -hmm. so i'm going to wash it with warm water and then blend it to paste you don't need to throw those party parts away because it's packed with calcium so here is it after blending and i'm going to put it in this container save it to use for any purpose you know whatever making soup making porridge making stew sometimes i add it to it so at this point our beans is cooked to softness you can see guys very soft whenever you're cooking your beans make sure that it's first of all cooked to softness before adding other ingredients because what i observe is that when you start adding ingredients before it gets cooked uh the, the, the cooking hour it kind of you know it doesn't get cooked faster anymore so let it get soft before adding whatever you're using to you know spice it up your onions your pepper your salt and what have you this one i'm going to make it very simple and it really takes amazing if you are a beans lover you're going to love this here at the fish you know make sure it's properly soaked in so that 
is going to give out all the juice in it, all the flavor, aroma. After cooking for like five minutes, add your oil, still cover the pot and let it cook for more three minutes. Then get a vegetable, wash, slice and add to it. And after like two seconds, give it a good stir and bam, mm. you have this delicious soft porridge things. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give us a like. Subscribe to our channel for more beautiful, delicious videos. <laughs> See you again on my next video. Thank you so much for watching and bye.